Hey guys, it's Sam for Digital Meet again. And in this Cinema 4D quick tip tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at per object manipulation. I was actually asked in the comments of one of my other videos, is it possible for me to select multiple objects and have those objects rotate around their own pivot points? And the answer to that is yes. It may seem obvious to people that have been using Cinema 4D for a while, but to newcomers, um, it may not be so evident. So let's go take a look at that. Okay, so I've got a really simple scene here, much of which you can ignore. These buildings that I've got listed in my object manager came from the content browser in Cinema 4D. So if I grab my top building here and then hold shift and select the bottom one, we can see that they're all selected. And you'll see that there's a pivot point in the middle. This is kind of like a virtual pivot point. Cinema 4D takes the pivot points of each object and kind of creates an aggregate, an average, and creates this virtual axis in the middle. So if I go to the Move tool now and move all of these objects, you can see that they move together, as you'd expect. And if I go to the Scale tool, all of these objects will be scaled down to this kind of virtual pivot point, this averaged pivot point. Let's undo that. And the same is true for the Rotate tool as well everything will rotate around this point. But we can actually make all of these objects rotate around their respective pivot points. So if I click the rotate tool and then come down here to the attributes, you can see that we've got a few tabs here. If we go to the object access, you can see that we've got a checkbox called per object manipulation. So let's check this on and actually rotate now. Now you can see each one of our buildings rotates around its own axis. So let's undo that. Let's go to the scale tool. This has also got a per object manipulation checkbox. And if we check that on, instead of scaling down to this virtual pivot point here, each object will scale down to its own respective pivot point. The same is actually true of the move tool as well. If we go to the move tool and move all our objects, you can see that they'll move together. But if we uh, turn on per object manipulation and move all of these objects along the Z direction, they'll all move along their own respective Z direction. And the same is true of any other direction. X and Y, these should all be the same, yep. Yeah. Okay. So that's how you uh, affect each of these objects or multiple objects uh, per object. I hope that was helpful guys, and I'll see you in the next one. If you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of new tutorials. You can follow me on social media at Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram, and make sure to visit me at digitalmeet.uk where you can vote for upcoming tutorials. Thanks for watching, bye.